You should stop eating food. Not because this video is gross, I just mean in general. Even if you're enjoying your YouTube with a nice meal, take that slop and microwave it out of existence. Then get back to watching me. I'm here to talk about my dietary obligations while offering no nutritional advice uh, whatsoever. Though I will say that counting calories is for overthinkers, and watching your macros is slang for making sure you intake enough protein to open up a gym in your stomach that allows grunting. Well, let's get a little personal. Uh, members of my family used to tell me, You eat like a prisoner! I thought this meant I was tough, but nah, it means that I eat fast and with my neck over my plate. Plus, I overate because I had the type of family that encourages grabbing another plate or two. I mean, you're a growing boy, you gotta eat. Nothing wrong with that, except for a lot of things. But this article is about food, not health. So uh, avoid worrying about portion size if uh, something tastes good. That way, you could find out your limits and preferred flavors. Why, I used to take a whole pot of spaghetti and a pound of ground beef to the dome. I'd enjoy my phony Italian feast with a mountain of Parmesan cheese and garlic bread for napkins. To me, the most disgusting part was that I would eat this mess out of a large bowl which at one time was used for dog food. Yeah, it was clean, but I thought about those dog saliva particles during each bite. Later on, far too late into my life, I found out buffalo chicken dip is my favorite texture. I've definitely leaked this chunky sauce onto your screen before, probably in multiple videos. This relates to my repetitive addict tendencies. I mean, for fuck's sakes, I don't know if I can eat fries without melting cheese on them. I wish I never discovered the warm blanket of loaded fries. I'm even down for microwave nachos. It could be laced with store brand American singles or cutting board cheese, regardless, two or three plates down the hatch for a snack. Which is why I believe the vegan documentary that sold me cheese is heroin. After enough consumption, you'll contract Swiss Cheese Brain, a lab-created virus where you develop holes in your head that can only be filled with more cheese. I definitely have this disease because I'll put cheese on anything that isn't ice cream. Try me. Nope, don't. I didn't think this through, motherfucker. One thing I'm certain of is that I have a vendetta against vegetables ruining my combinations. I eat burgers, plain, beef and cheese only. Tacos the same, beef and cheese only. Fuck, I got the middle man. I could eat beef and cheese for a meal. Well, spinach is the only green I can eat on its own because society associates it with bigger arms. Oh, broccoli and asparagus are also cave okay with uh, some seasoning, maybe a bit of sauce or icing. Well, sweets are actually fucking uh, useless to me. I go without them until I remember how good they taste, then I'm riding the diabetic train to an early grave. The best treat is Reese's and Skittles, not together, enjoyed separately. You could also like just eat some Jif peanut butter, you know, fucking too sugary shit. We get some real peanut butter, shit's foul, not enough sugar. Usually, I'm the type of healthy fat ass that orders a triple cheeseburger with a water. When it comes to fast food water, sometimes you can only taste the plastic straw. Or if you're lucky, you'll get a hint of lemonade due to the shared fountain piss hole not being properly drained. Which brings me to my next point. We all know that fast food was invented because people got tired of shitting normally. In the 1920s, folks' bowel movements had uh, stagnated due to their predictable diets of Hoover's stew, which is uh, mac and cheese with sliced hot dogs. So never mind, they probably shit similarly to you and I, just on a smaller scale. Anyways, in nerd terms, fast food came along and changed the game by slowing its players down with too many cheap items disguised as power-ups. I too have that fat head that's always convincing me to stay on the never-ending drive through track. When I do cook at home, I eat a lot of steak and chicken. This entire video could have been a butcher box ad, but I'm not sponsored by them, so until they pay me, let's just say that shit will give you stomach cancer. Which I probably have, because I just now started using cast iron, I'm talking like a couple of days ago, meaning my insides are made of Teflon. You know, we could discuss food forever until it turns into weather talk, so let's uh, give up and both agree to never eat again.